Hello, my dear students. Today we are going to learn poetry, The School Boy by William Blake. William B Blake belongs to romantic period of English literature. One of the characteristics of romantic period that is close to nature or giving priority to nature is seen in this poetry as well. So let us find out few of the details about the poetry at first. This poetry is a part of Songs of Experience which is a poetry collection. Okay, Then this collection includes poems such as The Tiger, The Little Boy Lost, Infant Joy and The Shepherd. These poems are illustrated with colorful artwork created by Blake first in 1789. Students, these are short poems specially written for kids. The poem The Schoolboy is written in the pastoral tradition that focuses on the downsides of formal learning. It also contains a rhyme scheme of AB, ABB. Let's move towards theme of the poem now. At first we see alternative method of education. The prevalent education which is confined within four walls is not appropriate for the children according to the author. Then another theme we see is learning outside the classroom. According to the, author, uh, according to the poet, the classroom learning is not enough. They should be taken out for their physical development which is required for growing children. Let's recite the poem first, The Schoolboy by William Blake. I love to rise in a summer morning when the birds sing on every tree. The distant huntsman winds his horn and the skylark sings with me. Oh, what sweet company! But to go to school in a summer morn. Oh, it drives all joy away. Under a cruel eye outworn, the little ones spend the day in shying and dismay. Ah, then at times I drooping sit and spend many an anxious hour. Nor in my book can I take delight, nor sit in learning's bar, worn through what, worn through with dready shower. How can the bird that is born for joy sit in a cage and sing? How can a child when fears annoy but droop his tender wing and forget his youthful spring? O father and mother, if buds are nipped and blossoms blown away, and if the tender plant are stripped of their joy in the springing way, by sorrow and care's dismay, how shall the summer arising joy or the summer fruits appear? Or how shall we gather what griefs destroy or bless the mellowing year when the blasts of winter appear? In this poem, the poet presents before us the dreams and desires of a schoolboy. The poet has compared the schoolboy with a bird. A bird always wants to sing and fly in the sky freely. It does not want to stay inside the cage. The schoolboy also loves the beautiful nature. He likes to play, sing and enjoy the natural beauty. When the skylark sings, his heart dances with joy. Like the skylark, he also wants to fly in the sky, but he does not want to go to school. The classroom is like a cage for him. The school seems to be a jail for him. The teachers don't have any love or soft corner for the students. The schoolboy is afraid of the cruel eyes of his class teacher. The teachers are not friendly or kind-hearted. They behave like butcher and beat the students. The students have no freedom, no liberty. They cannot speak out their heart's desire. 
they cannot speak about their dreams so the school boy becomes upset and all his dreams are broken he feels like a bird whose tender wings have been cut down and he cannot fly any more the school boy says that he was born to be free like a bird he was not born to be locked inside a cage students the poem is extremely perfect for the children but one thing i must tell you all and that is in life we need to sacrifice so many things in order to achieve our higher goals students we have completed the poetry if you have any questions you can drop a message in my number thank you take care